Yes? Wouldn't the circle over the two be uh, closed? Only if it's an equal to part there. So like this, if it's got that little line under it, that's when it's closed. Okay. So if it's just less than and greater than, it's not. On your ores, can they go one way? They're not going to go one way either. All your ores are going to be split. Every one. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, so just for like the algebraic answer, uh, mm -hmm. if you put like x is less than 2 and x is greater, then I'm going to be wrong. Yeah, I'm going to write written like that. That's a combined inequality. Okay, for my next one, let's do two of these three. I think I have three up there. We'll do the first example and the last example because I think once I've shown you this, you have the hang of it. It's if you do 9, 2. Okay, if you do 9, 2. Okay, first example. Absolute value, you've got to think I've got to have two parts, two cases. Case 1 looks exactly like the question without the absolute value bars. Just drop them off. Then I put my word between there, and that's worth points, so make sure you do the word. I'm going to count that. So this is a greater than symbol. It is a great or than symbol. So again, I'm exaggerating the word. So great or is an or. And then case two has two switches, the direction of the symbol and the sign of the number. Face two, two switches. And we solve. So subtract your four. So x is greater than or equal to negative two. <laughs> Last two. And on the other one, subtract your four. Again, the math comes out the same both times. Just different numbers in your answer. So for my helper graphs, whether you want to do them or not is up to you. But do know that negative 6 is smaller than negative 2. So greater than or equal to, my little lines under there, that's a closed circle, to the right. Less than or equal to negative 6, closed circle to the left. It is an or. An or is a union, and when we get a split graph with an or, we get a split graph with an or. It's repetitive, it repeats. It's the same thing. And algebraically, it's just the two inequalities that you get with the word or between them. So I'm not changing anything that you did on your assessment today. It's one new step in front of all the other steps. Start the question. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the last one. So absolute value. You got to think. There are two cases. Case one, I drop the bars off and change nothing. I look at my symbol and decide what word I'm going to write between the two cases. This is a greater than, great or than, so this is an or. Case two has two switches. I know I'm being repetitive, hopefully that's going to make it sink in. You change the direction of the symbol and the sign of the number. You should never come up with the same number, like don't come up with five and five. Five. I don't even think you should get, no one said that. I can't think of that for sure. All right, so we saw we add two. So 4x is greater than 12. Divide by 4. And x is greater than 3. And on the other one, same math. Add two. 4x is less than negative 8 and divide 4, and x is less than negative 2. So I get 
greater than 3 and less than negative 2. And because it's an or, or is a union, and when I get a split graph, I'm going to get a split graph. And that's the only kind you're going to get. And my algebra answer is just my two answers that I got when I solved with the word or between it. So just like 9-2. Nine 9-2 two. Nine is harder than 9-3. Yes, Grant. So with an and, you're going to get dope out, and with an or, you're going to get a split graph out. Every single time. Because they'll never, unlike 9-2, when they could go in the same direction, and won't happen on these. 